Now then, good morning. It's Thursday morning and I have a question. Electroculture. Yep. Is it science or new age mumbo jumbo? I don't know. Jeff asked me how I looked into electroculture. He's well, you know, my friend Jeff is a really good gardener. He really has got green fingers, as we say in the UK. And uh, I said, I said, I've seen the odd video on it, but I've never really paid much attention. So I watched a couple of videos on it and then I went online and, and I looked how much they were to buy these, these rods that you put in the ground. Now then. So there was a variety of rods and they were basically a bit of bamboo with a bit of copper wire wrapped around and a bit sticking up. And they were anything from a few dollars to twenty dollars so i thought blow that i'll make my own so i've made four i've got some six mil cable which i've stripped to get my copper so i've wrapped this first one is wrapped around a piece of wood second one is a piece of nine mil rebar third one is uh is around a the half inch plastic pipe and the fourth one is nine mil rebar again with a different top end and this one's got a different top end as well now then Nikola Tesla I think was the first guy to come up with this it's about harnessing the natural electricity in the atmosphere the atmospheric electricity is harnessed in this coil effectively and transmitted down to the ground which is supposed to benefit the plants around it now there's a couple of things here the first thing is they say and who are they they are them the turn at us they say that in the northern hemisphere as you're looking down the shaft the copper wire must be wrapped in a clockwise direction around the shaft and then in the southern hemisphere it should be in an anti clockwise what difference does that make i don't know but if you've ever seen a water vessel with a plug taken out in the northern hemisphere the the water runs one way and in the southern hemisphere it runs the opposite way go figure magnetic earth i'm gonna i've got four to try i'm going to put two in my apple trees to see if they make any difference whatsoever and i'm going to put two in two of the different grapevine beds to see if that makes a difference i don't know frankly i think it's new age mumbo jumbo however i do have a relatively open mind and i am willing to concede that there are stranger things in heaven and earth than meets the eye so we'll get on with that and then it's going to be I don't know, let's just say a month and we'll have a look at them and, and see if it's made any difference whatsoever. I am more of a traditionalist. I am more with my grandfather. Get some good compost on there, get some good mulch on and get some good farmyard shite on. And uh, usually that's good enough for the plants. Well, that's the first one in one of my apple trees and the second one in the other newer apple tree now we'll see <laughs> oh don't laugh at me you know it's an inquiring mind and it's it's i've got some leftover rods in, in effective the scrap bin some iron rods a bit of wood and a bit of plastic I've got some leftover cable from when they put the solar in it's cost me nothing but 30 minutes of effort to make them so we'll get the other two there's various schools of thought read the antenna whether you make circles with it or have it as a as a straight 
straight up antenna. I don't think there's any exact science to it. So, now, this end bed here has it's doing all right but this this bed as well is doing well i'm going to put it in the end because that's i'm going to put it in here so the ground's moist so the copper's got a good contact with the ground and uh, where should we put the second one? It's supposed to help with pests as well. I know we'll put the second one. We'll put the second one in here. <laughs> now then, it's just started raining again. I know, call me a crackpot. <laughs> I don't mind. I really don't mind. You know, it's... You should try things. Even if it's only out of interest. So, it's raining. I'm going to go and get some breakfast. And then I'm going to come back in the workshop, have a tidy up and crack on with my project. That's what I'm going to do. See you later. Bye-bye for now.